Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Connect a wired and wireless LAN. Before coming to it, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get a notification message whenever we upload a new video. And if you like to contact us for any technical support, you can visit our website. Link I given in the description. Now coming back to our packet tracer activity, connect a wired and wireless LAN. Here we can see our addressing table, uh, different uh, devices, its interfaces and its IP addresses. Also we can see uh, it connects to uh, which interface. In this activity we will uh, connect to the cloud, then we will connect to uh, router 0, then connect remaining devices. So here we can see uh, all the uh, devices. Here we can see cloud, router 0, router 1. Also we can see these devices, cable modem, configuration terminal, our server, netacad.pka. Then here we can see a switch, then edge devices, home PC, family PC. Then here we can see a home printer. Then we will verify the connections and finally we will examine uh, the physical topology. So when working in packet tracer, a lab environment or even in a corporate setting, you should know how to select the appropriate cable and how to properly connect devices. That's correct. This activity will examine device configurations in packet tracer, selecting the proper cable based on the configuration and connecting the devices. This activity will also explore the physical view of the network in packet tracer. So we will go to uh, part 1, connect to the cloud. So connect the cloud to router 0. So here we can see our uh, router 0 and our cloud. So we are going to connect uh, this uh, cloud to this router 0. How we can connect? At the bottom left, click the orange lightning icon to open the available connections. So coming to our packet tracer, uh, bottom left, here we can see uh, an orange color lightning icon. So we have to click on it so that we can see all the available connections. We'll click on it and here we can see all the available connections. Okay, what is next? Choose the correct cable to connect router 0. Uh, interface is fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 to cloud Ethernet 6. Okay, so these are the ports where we have to connect. Then cloud is a type of switch. So use a copper straight through connection. Okay, so we have to search for the copper straight through connection uh, in this uh, uh, connection option. Okay, so if you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. We will do that. First of all, we will select copper straight through. So here we can see copper straight through. We will click on it. Then coming to our router 0, we will click on this router 0. Then we will select faster third or 0 slash 0. Here we can see that port. We will click on it. Now we will go to cloud. And here we can see a third or 6. We will click on it. And now here we can see uh, the link lights uh, on this uh, cable uh, turn green. So we connected correctly. Next we are going to connect the cloud to cable modem. So coming to our topology here we can see our cloud and we are going to connect to this uh, cable modem. Choose the correct cable to connect cloud coaxial 7 to modem port 0. If you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Okay, here which type of cable we will use to connect uh, from this cloud to this uh, cable modem. Uh, coming to our uh, uh, step here, we can see they clearly mentioned in cloud we have to connect to this uh, coax 7. So obviously it's a uh, coaxial cable. So we can search for the coaxial cable here in connections. Here we can see coaxial, so we will click on it. Then coming to cloud, here we can see coaxial 7. And coming to cable modem, we will connect to port 0. 
Now here we can see the link lights on the cable uh, turned green. So we, cor uh, we connect it correctly. Now we will move to part 2, connect router 0. So here we can see router 0. Connect router 0 to router 1. Okay, we are going to connect these two routers, router 0 and router 1. Here we have to choose the correct cable to connect router 0 uh, to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to router 1 serial 0 slash 0. Use one of the available serial cables. So if you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Okay, right. So we are going to connect to a serial port. Uh, so here we can select either uh, serial DCE or we can select serial DTE. Okay, we will go for a serial DCE. Then router 0, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0, it's here. Okay. And coming to router 1, we will connect to serial 0 slash 0. It's here. Now here we can see uh, the lights on this uh, cable uh, turned green. That means we connected correctly. Next we will go to step 2. Connect router 0 to netacad.pka. Okay, here we can see our router 0. We are going to connect to this uh, netacad.pka. Okay, for that choose the correct cable to connect router 0. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to netacad.pka. Uh, fast Ethernet 0. So routers and computers traditionally use the same wires to transmit. That is 1 and 2 and receive 3 and 6. The correct cable to choose consists of these um, uh, crossed wires. Although many NICs can now auto sense which pair is used to transmit and receive. Router 0 and attacker.pka do not have uh, auto sensing NICs. And if you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Okay. So here uh, we seen this uh, auto sensing that is nothing but the uh, MDIX concept media dependent in, um, uh, interface crossover but uh, here they clearly mentioned router 0 and attacker.pka do not have auto sensing NICs so obviously we have to use the correct cable uh, that means we have to use a crossover cable now coming to connectivity here we are going to use a copper crossover we will select this cable then coming to router 0 here we have to connect to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 then coming to our server netacad.pka will connect to fast ethernet 0 and now here we can see the link lights are on this cable turned green so we used correct cable now coming to step 3 connect router 0 to the configuration terminal choose the correct cable to connect router 0 console to configuration terminal rs 232. This cable does not provide network access to configuration terminal but allows you to configure router 0 through its terminal. So if you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn black. So we have to select a console cable coming to connection. So, so here we can see a console. So we will select this cable then coming to a router 0. Here we can see console port, we will connect to console port, then coming to our configuration terminal PC, here we can see RS232 port, we will connect to this RS232 port. And now here we can see the link lights on this cable turned black, that means we used correct cable. Now uh, we will move to part 3, uh, connect the remaining devices. Okay. Uh, first of all, we will connect router 1 to switch. So here we can see router 1 and our switch. Choose the correct cable to connect router 1. Uh, port is a fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 to switch fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. If you attach to the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. Allow a few seconds for the light to uh, transition from amber to green. Okay, here we are going to use this uh, fiber connectivity. So coming to fiber, then we will click on this router 1 and here we can see the port uh, fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. 
and here we can see this uh, icon how it shows so that's why uh, we can identify we have to use this uh, uh, fiber connection so we'll click on this faster thread one slash zero then coming to switch and here we can see faster thread zero slash one and here we can see green and this side is in amber so we will wait some time now here we can see that amber uh, turned to green now we are going to connect cable modem to wireless router choose the correct cable to connect cable modem port 1 to wireless router internet port if you attach to the correct cable the link lights on the cable will turn green okay we will do that uh, here we can see this cable modem and wireless router they are uh, different devices so uh, we will try with the copper straight through cable then coming to cable modem we will connect to port 1 and coming to wireless router then we have to connect to internet port yes it's working now uh, step 3 connect wireless router to family PC okay here we can see our family PC choose the correct cable to connect wireless router Ethernet to 1 to family PC if you attach to the correct cable the link lights on the cable turn green here this wireless router and uh, family PC uh, they are a different device so we can try with the copper straight through so we will select a copper straight through coming to wireless router here we will connect to Ethernet to 1 and coming to a family PC fast Ethernet 0 yes it's working now coming to part 4 verify connections test the connection from family PC to netacad.pka open the family PC command prompt and ping netacad.pka we can do that uh, here we can see our family PC we will click on it and uh, here we can see the tabs at desktop and then we will go to command prompt uh, here we are going to uh, ping to netacad.pka okay we will copy this uh, netacad.pka coming to family PC ping to netacad.pka and we are waiting for the replies yes it's working so once more we can try that ping to netaka.pka we get the replies next is open the web browser and the web address uh, use this uh, URL okay we will copy that now coming to our family PC back here we will use our web browser then we will paste that URL in this URL field then we will press go and here we can see our web page okay this is working next is a uh, ping the switch from home PC open the home PC command prompt and uh, ping the switch IP address of uh, to verify the connection okay first of all we will get the IP address of this uh, switch we will come to our addressing table and uh, here we can see a switch its IP address so we will copy this IP address then we will go to our home PC desktop command prompt here we are going to ping to our switch we already copied that IP address we are waiting for the replies we may get one or two request timed out then we will get the replies yes here we can see so we got uh, two request timed out but after that uh, we got the replies and uh, we will uh, try once more yes it's working
next open router 0 from configuration terminal open the terminal of configuration terminal and accept the default settings then press enter to view the router 0 command prompt then type show IP interface brief to view interface status we can do that we will go to that configuration terminal PC we will click on this uh, PC then we will go to desktop and we have to select terminal here we can see terminal we will click on it now we will accept these uh, default settings and then we will press OK and here we can see now we are in uh, router command prompt we are in router 0 okay here we are going to give the show command show IP interface brief we are going to press enter and here we can see the status of each interfaces here we can see uh, interfaces then its IP address and we can see here the status first third zero slash zero its IP address status up protocol also up now we will go to part 5 examine the physical topology examine the cloud click the physical workspace tab or press shift plus p and shift plus l to toggle between the logical and physical workspaces yes to go to this physical workspace uh, either we can use these shortcuts or uh, here we can see uh, that button physical so we will click on this physical then we have to click the home city icon so here we can see a home city okay then click the cloud icon okay we will uh, click on this uh, home city then we have to search for the cloud here we can see cloud icon we will click on this uh, cloud and here we can see the rack details okay here how many wires are connected to the switch in the blue rack so here we can see two connections one and two and here we can see that green color LED it's blinking now click back to return to home city okay here we will click on this back button next is examine the primary network click the primary network icon hold the mouse pointer over the various cables what is located on the table to the right of the blue rack now we will go to primary network icon so it's here we will click on this primary network now here we can see various uh, cables we will uh, check these cables just we will keep the cursor on this cable so we will start from here it's a uh, copper crossover okay and here we can see this is a uh, copper crossover this is a copper rollover which is connecting to configuration terminal okay this is not used here we can see this is a serial cable okay now we have to go to the right of this uh, uh, blue rack right side uh, okay right will come down yes so here we can see a PC just right side of this blue rack it's a configuration terminal okay now uh, click back to return to home city we'll click back next is examine the secondary network click the secondary network icon hold the mouse pointer over the various cables why are there two orange cables connected to each device then click back to return to home city 
where is our secondary network it's here we will click on this secondary network okay coming to this rack here we can see it's a serial and here we can see it's a fiber and here we can see fiber and now coming to this uh, connection here we can see uh, two orange cables uh, in this uh, router one so one is for uh, transmitting and the other one is for receiving so coming to this switch in the same way we can see two orange cables uh, one is for transmitting and the another one is for receiving now we will uh, come back okay examine the home network here we can see our home network click the home network icon why is there no rack to hold the equipment okay we will click on it and here we can see our family pc and uh, home pc yes so here we cannot see any rack uh, usually for this uh, home network we won't use rack okay now click the logical workspace tap to return to the logical topology okay we will go back and then we will click on logical okay so friends in this video we discussed ccna version 7 packet tracer activity connect a wired and wireless lan and here we can see the completion status of this packet tracer activity it's a hundred percentage now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below also if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends and for any technical support or for any help you can contact our team uh, link i given in the description so just stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you